we are back at the, on the road again. Once again, I'm doing uh, the road trip to North Dakota's Gay Pride. And um, this time I'm actually performing at it. So we'll see how well that goes. Um, yeah, this has become a yearly thing. And uh, I'm sure this will be just as great as it was last year. It's a beautiful day. And uh, the road is once again very wonderful. And I've got a brand new camera which is uh, showing things off in a, a, a little better light, I hope. And uh, hopefully everything will go smoothly and go great, and I'll have a decent show, and uh, we'll see what happens. But um, there you go. It's my first time actually playing out of town. I've never done that before. Um, I'm doing all this stuff as an older guy and not as a young kid, like I should have done, but there you are. Anyway, here we are once again on the road to Gay Pride, and... But hopefully great things will happen. Woohoo! Pride Fest in North Dakota is really more like a family reunion campout than the kind of celebration you see in larger cities. But that's one of the things that make it so unique. Now I'm only here for a short time, and so I never get to see the nighttime activities. But I'm sure everyone's in bed by 11, right? It's been a great turnout so far, and it's been a great Pride. This year, I was asked to perform during the afternoon concert and award ceremony. Also playing that afternoon was Chris Kitko. I saw her at last year's Pride as well. She's the kind of performer I aspire to be. She's great with the crowd and lots of fun to watch. See my tights, I've come to save the world. I'm sweeter than Superman. I'm carbohydrate girl. I got pride, I'm a Pride Fest also featured this year's Pride Award recipient, Senator Tom Feibiger, for his work in getting the North Dakota Human Rights Act to cover the LGBT community. And we, when, when we got all done, you know, you think about what happened. And I'm a Unitarian, and, and uh, when I was in, in, in Sunday school, we learned a poem that I thought about Tom about, because he just kind of, all of a sudden, this bill was there, and... And we had to deal with it. We couldn't avoid it. That bill was there, and that was because he stepped forward and introduced it. And the poem was, they drew a circle that shut us out, a heretic, a, a rebel, a thing to flout. But Love and I had the will to win. We drew a circle and took them in. He's made a big difference, and uh, I'm glad to be here. You can't be grateful enough. Um, thank you. It's, there's not much you can say, and, but thank you. And you know what? It's going to take all of our part to help Tom continue on to do what's going to get us for equal rights. So, thanks. Uh, get involved and give money or do whatever you can, uh, however you can be involved. And I would encourage uh, everyone to do that. Uh, again, this is a huge honor for me. I'm, I'm humbled by it, and I appreciate all the work that everyone's done to get to this uh, place. We have more work to do, and we're going to continue to work. Uh, I remember Martin Luther King Jr. says, the time is always right to do what's right. So I look forward to working with you to continue to try and do what's right. Thank you so much. But it quickly became clear that it was either I do that, go through a transition, or I find some other way to end my life as a woman. Luke Jude gave a talk about his experiences as a transgendered person growing up in North Dakota and the effects his journey has had on his family. And it was incredibly liberating for me. And I was clear that that was going to be my access to being happy and being free. The reason I made this trip it was my effort to restore those relationships with my family members, particularly my dad and my grandparents. And this was not an easy trip for me to make. It's been very emotional. I'm kind of drained. And um, as soon, though, as the second I saw my dad and my grandparents, they recognized in me the kid they always knew. <laughs> There's nothing different. I'm just happy now. And they, they talked to me more than they'd ever talked to me in my entire life. Well, that's about it for Pride Fest this year. I had a really good time, and I'm sure everybody else did too. Next year, uh, I hope I'll be back. And until then, or until next time, I'll see you. Bye.